everybody! Welcome to our YouTube channel. We are going to show you how to make the cutest little bunny and chick cakes today that you could do at home. Mm -hmm. And Violet's even going to make one with us too. We'll take you through step by step on how to frost these, how to make the little white chocolate details. This is such a cute and fun activity just in time for Easter. Yeah, so super easy to do. We are so excited. Are Let's you excited? Let's get started. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to show you the easiest way to frost your cake for your Easter bunny or your chick. But I'm going to go ahead and start with the um, forage cake that we're using for the cute little Easter bunny today. Um, I just baked these in a four inch metal pan, and but really you could do any size. You could do a six inch, you could do an eight inch. You'll just have to make sure that um, when you go to pipe the face and you go to make the ears that they're proportionate to the size that you're choosing. So first things first, I'm going to take a large piping bag and I cut off maybe about three quarters of an inch off of the top. I'm gonna open this up. And I'm going to take my buttercream here that I have tinted a pretty light pink color from my Easter Bunny. And I'm going to go ahead and fill my bag. Easiest way to fill a bag is to pull it down and fill it actually from the center rather than the top of your bag. It'll get really messy if you fill it from the top. And then squeeze it down and now I'm ready to go. So what I'm going to do next is take my cake board, squeeze a little bit of buttercream on the bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and take one of my layers of my four inch cake, and then I'm going to take the bag of frosting and fill that center. Now this is a really nice way to fill cakes because you can get it pretty smooth and pretty even. Put it on like that, and now I'm going to start the process of how we frost our cakes. So I'm going to start at the bottom. And I'm going to squeeze a band of buttercream. So I've got my little edge there. I'm going to take my spatula and just gently pull in that edge. All right guys, I'm gonna stop here and then we're gonna stick this in the refrigerator and up next, we're gonna show you how to make the cutest bunny ears out of white chocolate. All right, so we're gonna show you how we make the little white chocolate pieces that are gonna go on our cute little Easter cakes. Um, you can use the stuff from the store, the Ghirardelli chocolate. Um, mm -hmm. And also at a lot of the craft stores, you can get the pre-colored little um, candy wafers and all the different colors. So if you don't want to worry about putting food coloring in it, you can just buy the colors. They melt really easy in the microwave. So we both melted our colors. I'm going to actually make a cute little bow tie for the little chicky. And I'm going to make the bunny ears. So one of the ways that's helpful for you guys at home is um, when you're working with white chocolate, you can actually uh, make a little stencil or something to trace. So Lauren's gonna use just a little marker, cute little marker. pen, whatever you yeah. have, and we'll just draw it on here and then we'll flip it over and then we're able to trace that with our bag. So it's a lot easier. <laughs> shapes on our parchment we're going to make sure we flip that over so we don't get any of that pen or marker on our chocolate and we're going to use some scissors just to cut a little tip off of our bag so that we can go ahead and it's already cut a little bit. <laughs> trace our shapes so we're going to just go around the outside and then you'll just fill it in 
And the good thing about this is it'll set up if you just leave it on the counter for a little bit or you can pop it in the refrigerator just for a few minutes and that'll get nice and solid for you to use on your cake. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how we're going to put the cute details on our little Easter bunny cake. So I have a black bag of buttercream and I have a number one tip on my bag. So what I'm doing is squeezing out two half circles for the little eye. So um, as long as you kind of, you know, take your time with it, don't rush it and really focus on squeezing the bag consistently. That's the key to getting that line to come out nice and smooth. And now I'm adding the cute little eyelashes to my bunny. All right, adorable. Now what I like to do next is take my white bag with a number eight tip. And I like to squeeze sort of a little ovally shape for the nose. And then I'll take that black bag again and I'll pipe to longer half circles for the cute little mouth. And then I like to go in and add a detail, um, little rosy cheeks. This is a number 12 tip on a pink bag. And I'm going to go on either side of the nose, squeeze that 12 tip and form those cute little cheek circles just like that. Adorable. And what I like to do before I actually shove these in is make a little mark, take my spatula, and sort of shove the spatula down into the cake a little bit. That way you'll have less resistance when you go to put the, um, the ears in and they're less likely to break. All right, and then I'm going to hold my white chocolate from closer to the bottom and just sort of gently put those cute little bunny ears in there and they'll stand up really nicely. The nice thing about white chocolate is it will work well um, with the buttercream and especially if you go to refrigerate it, it'll hold up really well in the refrigerator. All right, so our bunny is not finished. We need to add a few details. So um, what I'm going to do to add a cute little flower crown on our bunny is actually use this um, really awesome Russian tip. This Russian tip has sort of a rose pattern in it, and I'm going to use that to make the crown on our cute little bunny. So what I'm going to do first is start around the top edge. I'm going to squeeze and pull, and this awesome Russian tip makes these super cute little flowers. How adorable that is. I like this tip because it almost reminds me of a rose but also a little bit like a tulip and a tulip is a perfect spring flower. All right, adorable. Now we added our little flower crown. I'm going to take my leaf tip which is a number 70 with some pretty green and I'm going to add just the little finishing touches here by adding some super cute little leaves poking out of the flower crown. I like to make some of them stand up, go sideways, go diagonal. And I believe that adorable little flower crown is complete. So on this little bunny, <laughs> my ear actually broke when I was going to put it into the cake, but don't fret. One thing you can do is take a little bit of buttercream, stick it to the piece, and make it look like he has a little floppy ear. So see, no need to panic. That's actually really cute. So if your white chocolate breaks, you can make it work. I thought it would be super cute to add one more little detail to our cute bunny which would be its little cotton tail you can just take an eight tip and squeeze a little dollop of buttercream how adorable is she we have our cute little chicky cake frosted in a really fun spring yellow so I'm just gonna use a few bags and a few different tips 
So for his hair and his wings, I'm going to use a 1M, which is a star tip, which most of you probably have already. For his eyes, I'm going to use black with a 12 tip. His beak and his feet, I'm going to use an 8 tip. And then I'm going to do a few little polka dots um, with a number 2 tip. So let's get ready to make this cute little chick. Okay, so I'm going to start pretty much up a little towards the top and I'm going to squeeze with my 8 tip and I'm going to squeeze a beak. So I'm going to squeeze hard and taper and pull. So you have that cute little point. Right underneath that I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to pull out three cute little spikes to make his little feet. And then I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm squeezing and pulling. Then we'll go ahead and make his eyes again with a number 12 tip. I'm going to hold that really close to the cake and I'm going to squeeze until we get a nice round circle. Stop squeezing and pull off. And then I'm going to go directly across from that and do the same thing. All right. And if you'd like, you can take an offset spatula and smooth those out just a little bit so they're nice and flat. And then my favorite thing with the eyes is to take a number two tip and we're going to add just a few little highlights by squeezing tiny little polka dots in this little chick's eyes. So cute. And he's almost coming to life here. We're going to give him some little wings. So with our star tip, I'm going to go on the side and I'm almost going to make like a heart shape. So I'm going to come down and up and down and up. So we have a nice like upside down heart. We'll flip it around and do it on the other side, down and up, down and up, so we have his wings. And then on his head, I'm almost going to just do like a cute little rosette that points up. You can give him as much hair as you'd like, super cute. And then we have that white chocolate bow that we made earlier. I'm just going to put a little bit of frosting on the back of it, and I'm going to stick that right below his little beak, and then... I'm going to go back with another number two tip and I'm going to add some little polka dots on his little bow to make it even more festive and springtimey here. And there you go, that's a cute little chick. And we're going to just add a little bit of grass and some flowers just to kind of spring them up a little bit. Now that we've both completed our cakes, we get to do the really fun part, which is to kind of decorate the board. So we have a 234 tip, which is a grass tip. So we're going to add some grass, we're going to add some flowers, and then we have these really cute little eggs that you can just buy at the store that we can add to just make this even cuter. We'll take it to the next level. So let's start grassing it up. The nice thing about this tip is it's really, really fun and easy, especially for the kiddos to use. Um, you know, all you really have to do is squeeze and then kind of pull it away to get that nice grass effect. I love this tip. It's, it's so, so cute. Fun. Look at these big giant malt ball eggs here. And then I definitely, I want to try out that tip that you used to make your little bunny crown. Oh yeah. So I just Adorable. squeeze and pull. We'll have some little flowers in the grass here. Yeah, these, um, these are malted milk ball eggs, and then these are Cadbury chocolate eggs. So um, both are really cute to add to any Easter cakes or Easter sort of cupcakes that you're doing at home. They're just so cute. Mm -hmm. I like the speckles on there. Adorable. Uh, they are. And really, they're again, best friends. They're best buds. And again, guys, you can make these any size. We chose four inch because we wanted them to be kind of mini and cute. But if you have six inch cake pans at home and you want to play around with that size, these would absolutely yeah. be doable in that cake size. And we've even done the tiny ones, like a jumbo cupcake or a cupcake if you want a little mini one, and that's super cute too. So just have fun and play around with your buttercream. And all right, we're going to invite Violet over to decorate one. Are you ready to give it a go? Let's see. All right, we're gonna let Violet do one all by herself. She's a cake master, so are you ready to get started? <laughs>
our tutorial today. We had so much fun making these cute little chicky and bunny cakes. Violet came Violet and said stop. amazing. <laughs> she so just much keeps fun. Going. Huh? What do yeah. you think? Yeah. Aww, awesome. So make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. We plan on adding more and more of these videos. Mm -hmm. um, check out our buttercream recipe tutorial on our channel as well, where you can learn to make Swiss meringue. <laughs> Here, turn it around so they can see, bye. Beautiful. Yeah, so thank you so much. We look forward to doing some more of these little short videos for you to do at home. And have a good day, guys. Bye. Happy decorating. Bye. <laughs>